Hello everyone and welcome back to Collider Scoreboard. This edition is for Solo, a Star Wars story. My name is the scruffy looking Mark Ellis and it is merely my job to herd a bunch of nerfs who are going to make predictions about the upcoming movie. What's going to happen? What will not happen? Who's going to pop up? Who's going to die? All those questions are about to be predicted upon by some of our expert panelists here. Star Wars fans, Collider favorites. I will not be loving any guesses myself. I'm just here to captain the ship. Never tell me the odds about Kira dying? That's our first question. Kira, played by Amelia Clark in the movie, and I guess we're kicking off with a morbid way. Will Kira die? What say you? No, I don't think Kira will die. She will betray Han, though, so we'll see how that plays out in the movie, but she will not die. Kira will not die in the movie, and I will take it one step further and say that she will double-cross Han, and that is why we don't hear of her after the events of this movie. No, she is not going to die. We've dealt with so much death. Not everybody has to die. She's good. We don't really hear about Han's past anyway. She's good. She's out there. Yes, unfortunately, Kira is going to die. It's going to be a big character moment for Han Solo. Yes, I think Kira will die. Otherwise, where the hell is she? And I also think that'll be the reason it breaks Han's heart. And that's why Han starts to become a little skeptical of relationships. Will we get an appearance by everybody's favorite neighborhood bounty hunter, Boba Fett? Hell yes, Boba Fett will appear in the movie. Yes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Yes, I need it. I need it so much. Yes. Damn right Boba Fett's going to appear. Yes, he will be there. He will be his bounty hunting ways. Yes, Boba Fett will appear, and I think one of the reasons why, because if you heard the old rumors of the Josh Trank Boba Fett movie, he was supposed to be in it, but I also think it would be a nice little Easter egg if you see him appear, even for two seconds. Yes, we will see Boba Fett in this movie. It's a Han Solo movie. You need Boba Fett. The time period of Solo Star Wars Story is before A New Hope, and just before Rogue One, will there be any Rogue One tie-ins? No, I don't think there will be any Rogue One tie-ins. I think it's about five years, unless you count like the Death Star or something. That doesn't really count. But as far as the actual plot, sure. I think there will absolutely be some Rogue One tie-ins. The secret story about these Star Wars stories is they're going to connect them. Yes, I believe there will be a Rogue One tie-in somehow, a mention of a character, maybe a cameo. We will see a tie-in to Rogue One. Yes, there will be Rogue One tie-ins. All the Star Wars films are connected. We will hear references to that film. Yes, but I think it's going to be something really subtle, like an intercom and somebody being like, something, something Krennic. And we're like, oh, but that, I think, well, not much more than that. Are we going to see any lightsabers ignite? No, we will not see any lightsaber duels. Solo a Star Wars story is a smuggler story, not a Jedi story. No, we will not see a lightsaber ignite. We had that for Rogue One. Solo's going to be a different take. No, I don't believe we will see a lightsaber turn on. I don't think that's the type of movie this will be. So no, I don't think so. No, because I don't think so. This may be controversial, but I say no, there will be no lightsabers ignited in this movie. Darth Vader was fantastic in the classic trilogy and in Rogue One. Will we see Darth Vader make some sort of an appearance in this movie? No, I don't think he needs to be in every single movie. I think we're good. It'll be somebody else, somebody we know. Yes, I think Vader will make an appearance. I don't think it's going to be anything significant like Rogue One, but maybe Han is, uh, you know, in, while he's with the Imperials, he kind of squints up, takes a look. Shades of, of Kylo Ren with, uh, with Finn, maybe something along those lines. So maybe I say yes, I think Vader's will show up in one way or another. We will not see Vader make an appearance in this movie. This is Han Solo's movie. You needed him in Rogue One to have a familiar face. Not here. I hate to break the Star Wars fans' hearts, but I'd say that no Vader will appear in this movie. Yes, Vader will show up either in mention or from far away. He will not be featured prominently. The big question, the burning question on everybody's lips, will Lobot make an appearance, Lando's good buddy? No, I don't think Lobot will show up in this movie. I think that people will be waiting for it. Maybe at the very end he could pop in, but I don't think that, I think that's really about the Bespin tie-in and all the, I, no, Lobot won't be in this movie. Sorry, Lobot. You're just not that popular enough for me. You are not appearing in this movie. Yes, and he shows up a lot in the last shot, the novel, so I feel like they're really, they're amping him up for me. I want to see him. Yes, Lobot will show up, and if he doesn't, I'm storming out of the theater after the movie is over. Yes, Lobot will make an appearance, and Lobot better make an appearance. And because everybody on the show loves Star Wars so much, some of them even considered experts, we're going to allow them to have one wild card prediction that's off the charts crazy, your wild card. My wild card is they are going to be doing this heist job for Jabba the Hutt. We're going to see Jabba the Hutt in the movie. 
I think that Kira will betray Han because we've had a lot of British brunettes and they're all good. We need one to turn bad and I think it's going to be her. Well, I think that my wild card prediction is that I think that in the trailer you see that Chewie is is hugging someone with, and, and I, we think that's his wife, but I also think that it's, it's a potential that you're going to see Lumpy, his kid. I think that we'll see more of Chewbacca's family in this movie, learn a lot more about that life debt that he and Han had. That's really where it's going to tie in. I think that that life that will happen with Hina. My wild card prediction is that we will get a sauna reference, and that idea comes from the fact that I just read Last Shot. My wild card prediction Cloud City will be established either by mention or we will travel there. All right, so there you have some predictions that I would have guessed, other ones that I would not have even thought of before seeing Solo, A Star Wars Story. Let us know right now, what are you guys thinking is going to happen? Answer the questions we asked here today, as well as toss your own wild cards into the comments section. And please stay tuned right here to Collider Video for all of the latest Solo updates. And when the movie has come out and you've seen it, come on back for our scoreboard results. We'll see you real soon here on Collider Video.